So, four robots remain. But hey, only two can go through to our grand final at the end of the series. Prepare for the ultimate fight for survival. Now is not the time for surgery when you're about to fight for a place in the final. I'm trying to put a new aerial on quickly. Well, that makes sense. You feeling all right? A bit nervous now. Yeah, Firestorm, good robot. Better control than we have, so... And another flipper as another well. Another flipper, which I know you don't like. No. OK, let's see how Firestorm are feeling. Hello. Oh, cool. Bert is surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you're not nervous in the slightest now. There's so much at stake. You're fighting for a place in the final. That'd be all right. They don't like flippers? They don't. I think we've got a little bit more manoeuvrability than them as well, so... Yeah, and they've got a little dodgy wheel there going on. They didn't mention that, but I know it's true. <laughs> yeah, they've got a bit of a limp. <laughs> So you should be fine. Should be fine. If not, we should want to know why. Yes. Yeah. Roboteers stand by. Good competitors, Graham Bone and Hazel Heslock, the Firestorm team, and there, Dave Peatney in an S3, and Matilda's in the arena with the tusks and the flywheel and dead metal, already impressive Three. in the semi-final, is back again. Wow. The winner of this battle goes through to the series grand final. It is as simple as that. Firestorm getting in underneath S3. S3 beaten in the series semi-final round two stage by Razor last time around. Firestorm has been through to the grand final twice. Bags of experience and meat and muscle there, and suddenly came off the arena sidewall. Such was the power of Firestorm's thrust. 100 kilos moving at 12 miles an hour, and S3 turned up on its side. Now that's an interesting problem. How are they going to get out of that one? Well, with a fair degree of nonchalance, it seemed initially, but then Firestorm's flicked them back and up and over. They cheated and they toppled, and Firestorm have flicked them out. Three seem to appreciate the tactics, crashing down onto our camera tracking system Six. there. But what a good drive by Graham Bow. On the offensive, the initial thrust, <laughs> then the first flick. Up went S3 to come crashing down again. The second flick did all the damage. And though they tried to hang on, their own weight took them top of them. Super stuff, Firestorm. What a fight. That didn't take very long. Firestorm, the first robot through to the final. Oh, it all ends in tears. Well, yeah. yeah. What went wrong? Oh, excellent driving, wasn't it? You know, they just had us right on the end there and it overbalanced and that was it. This is a first for you, getting flipped out of the arena, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy the experience? <laughs> Graceful. <laughs> it was, it was, like, it was like a, a sinking <laughs> ship, wasn't it? It just gracefully disappeared over the yeah. side. Where'd you go from here, guys? New robot. Maybe, a new robot? Yeah, new robot, brand new one. Maybe similar design, but... She's really tired now. She's sort of sticking plaster holding her together for tonight. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go. All righty. Well, we can't wait to see it. Let's hear it for S3! <laughs> well, you're in the final of the last wars. Yeah. You're in the final again. Yeah. Who would you like to avoid until, say, the final? Probably Razor. Everyone's scared of Razor. We're not scared. It's just that we've, uh, we've lost them twice now. I know you have. So... If we're going to do it again, we might as well do it in the final. But your driving seems to be so much improved. I mean, you're really accurate. It's really manoeuvrable. It's really quick. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's very manoeuvrable, yeah. yeah. All right. Do you enjoy that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> it was nerve-wracking. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, raise the roof for Firestorm!